18, 19, 20. Get off, get off, get off. Oh. All aboard. We made it to workout 10, the special workout Mount Crushmore. Today we climb right off the bat. If you don't have weight plates, dumbbells, or anything at home, you have to load a backpack full of books, something heavy to throw on the back as dead weight. Do that right now. Today's warm up is going to be quick. We just have to rehearse two new movements and get some of the main joints and muscles primed, ready to go. I'm going to read off this massive list to you right now so you know what you're in for. Here we go. Mount Crushmore has 11 or 12 elements, different exercises. We start packing up a base camp. That's going to be a lot of arms and a lot of rowing. We're going to the Sherpa supply run, throwing that weight on our backs, getting low and hiking up the mountain ahead of the team. We're passing everything up for low squat row, getting down, passing up, reaching up. Into the low pass, low tunnel, low crawl. We're into our leopard crawl. We haven't done that before. Altitude adjustment is a nasty little check in the middle. Super burpees, we haven't done that. I created them. They're just like nine movements in one. It's awful. Into a traverse is a little lateral uh, sewing machine, little pistol, quick squat. We'll get there. I'll show you what that's all about. Past the traverse, oxygen deprivation, nasal breathing only during a core segment. I've told you to nasal breathe just to recover between sets. Now we're exercising with nose breathing only. It's going to be our first little tease into nasal breathing training. This, uh, simulates high altitude, low oxygen environments. So your performance goes way down. No mouth allowed. Acclimatization is just more legs. We have a gut check, which is more legs and rowing. That's the big theme today. The final push is 100 ring march or bar marching, alternating knees. If you don't have anything to hang on to at home, you're just doing running high alternating knees, 100 per side, nasty. Then we hit the final summit. It's as much weight as you safely can handle. Backpack on your back, two dumbbells in your hand. We're doing 15 squats just to see what the legs have left. And then how do we get down? We don't get down, that's the end of the workout. So let's start the quick warm up and we get into Mount Crushmore. Okay, just a very quick warm up to get going here. Let's start super easy, high knee pulls, alternating per side. Give it a little pull, assist the height of the leg. And we're gonna go nice and quick here and get into that first station of the Crushmore circuit. Good, let's add a little torque to the leg. Elbow pushes into the knee to give a little twist. You'll feel that in the glutes. Good, good, good. Okay, heel kicks, just try to drive it back. If you feel any soreness in your legs right about now, you know you're screwed and you haven't recovered long enough. <sighs> hamstring sweep, hamstring sweep. Good. Squat with the pry. Squat down, pry, up, down, pry twice. Boom, boom, up, down three times. Two, three, up, down four, two, three, four. Boom, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Reverse lunge. Going back is always easier than a drop forward lunge. Five per side. Good, switch it up. You can hang on to something if you need to, to assist. There won't be much hanging on today in this workout, guys, so be warned. Good, let's fall forward into lunge. Slight open, slightly open. You can drop a hand, push back. Drop a hand, push back. Catching your own knee. You can shove to get back up, it's fine. Boom. Boom. Boom, one more per side. Boom. Boom. Let's do those quick arm circles. Palm down, forward for 10. 10 bigger. 10 clap high. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms backwards, palms up, backwards, small for ten. Bigger. 
clap low, big as you can. Scat push up on the ground. Okay, nice stiff rigid line. We've been doing a bunch of these already. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then our torsion taps. So the narrower arms, wider feet, narrower hands, wider legs. Brace, tap, tap, tap. Okay, the two moves we need to rehearse is the pig skate. It's a low squat walk, kind of like a wind-up toy. I'll show you in a second, the leopard crawl. So pig skate, it looks like this. It's our Sherpa supply run. We're gonna put weight up on our back or in a backpack. You squat low and you have to bounce a little bit as you step. And it's very small, you guys are following along, small flat steps, side profile. This is what everyone wants to do. Everyone wants to just walk it. Okay, you can't just start walking on your feet. That's not it. I'll show you backside view. It's like a wind-up toy. Plastic hard feet. Down, whole foot lifts, lifts. Flat, flat, flat. Okay, I can get my butt down. You might be, oh, up here somewhere. You're still trying to get a little move and a little bounce. There's no rolling off the toes check leopard crawl okay leopard crawls on the floor we haven't done a beast position yet but the beast is just elevating into four points with two hand two toes knees are one inch off the ground back is dead straight okay and then leopard crawl is opposite limbs move together for the walk so opposite opposite Opposite, best way to learn this is just drop down to your hands and knees and crawl like a baby. Okay, a baby naturally has to keep their balance. It'll go opposite, opposite. So if you forget what you're doing, crawl like a baby and then get up into the lift. So crawl, crawl, lift, boom, boom, boom. So I'll do one pass to you guys. So it looks like this, opposite, 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 opposite. I don't want to burn my energy out. That's enough. Okay, from me to camera, it's gonna piss my autofocus off, but from here to there, I've measured seven of my regular steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And seven back is gonna be your lap at home. So call it 14 steps. There's gonna be some passes we're doing laps. So you gotta find an area for 14 of your steps. If you can only go four one way, four back, you gotta go to 16 and make it four of those as one of mine, okay? That all being said, we're starting with two dumbbells. You got that heavy backpack ready or just the dumbbells, the weight plate, it's gotta just be dead weight and everything today is uh, very doable without too much teaching, so it's comfortable movements. Mount Crushmore starts. Okay guys, number one, we're packing up at base camp. It's 40 bicep curls and 40 bent over row, or you could do it off a bench, which will be single-sided, which will just take you a little longer. So I got two 30-pound dumbbells. Remember, no sloppy reps. It will get sloppy today just because we're gonna be really burning up. Two, and you can go back and forth, chunk these out, 10 and 10, 10 and 10, whatever you wanna do to get to 40, 40, but we can't move on until we complete what we're doing right now. Good. If I'm going too quick, I was just thinking YouTube's got the playback speeds. I don't know if everyone's ever tried to go playback slower or faster to catch up or slow down somebody, but that might be a thing we could try. Ten. Ooh, up. I've done this workout four times and I get dropped. I'm on the ground squirming, so. You probably won't have to be speeding me up too much. Oh, 
10, okay? And you also have to find a weight or a skill level that stops you in your tracks. You can't just blitz through 40 and 40 and be standing around waiting. No mountain climb is easy. So there should be a lot of stop and shake outs and a lot of flush outs is name of the game here. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. So I can't go to the row. Actually, I could go to the row, couldn't I? Five row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that puts me at 25 of each. 15 more to go. Yeah, maybe you really love this workout, you've come back to it. You can just pause that intro screen, keep it as a thing on a piece of paper and blitz through this without watching the video. Keep your sweat towel close. Keep your water close. Bring this over. Put it somewhere nearby. Okay. Ooh. Final 10. Gosh, this being workout 10, you guys have all should have come from workout nine. I hope you've had enough days off that you're feeling fresh and you're not feeling those jumping pull-ups, the rows we already did. This is a squat pull themed special workout. So you're going back to back on those movements. Otherwise, if you're cherry picking and you just found this workout and you love doing it, power to you. Final 10 row. Okay, that's going down. Whew, okay, breathe that out, part two. Sherpa supply run, Sherpa's going up. So I am throwing a 45 pound plate on my back. You guys could just hold dumbbells high, hold a ball, hold the kettlebell, load up a huge camping backpack, whatever you got. You probably want at least 15 pounds of something on the frame. So I'm gonna hold this like so. Okay, it just sits there nice and cozy. I'm gonna count how many steps are in my one pass and watch my wind up toy technique here. Down low, one, two, three, this one sucks. That's 20 steps on half of a lap going back. So that's going to be 100 steps total. Rest, breathe, flush it out. So notice I can't rock off the toes. That just cheats you to go faster. Wind up toy technique is flat and small steps. Okay, that was one pass of 40 baby steps there. Oh, don't tell me that's gonna be 200. Oh, here we go again. Lap two of five. Down low. One, three, four. A little up and down each step. Four, 15, 16 that time, a little bigger I took. Oh, hold the weight, hold the weight. Oh, hey guys. 
Flush, flush, flush. Heart rate picking up, legs melting. Two down, three to go. Okay, gets worse each time. The oxygen is leaving us. The burn in the body will pick up. Shake it out, shake it out. Going back, down. Baby step, flat foot, flat foot. Oh, I can't even get the plate off me now. Uh, uh, uh. Two more laps, four more lengths to go. Woo! I told you, Mount Crushmore. This is serious. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Okay. I think we'll have an actual water break intermission midway through the workout. Otherwise, we're just doing this right now. Oh. You're pausing, waiting for me to catch up, or you're pausing to catch up. Wait, how can I catch up if you're paused? That doesn't make sense. Here we go. Down, flat foot, flat, brace, brace. Get this off me. Uh, oh. oh, one more, one more, one more. Wasn't gonna be easy if you're doing this in the morning before a work day. Woo. Most people drop down to a 10 pound plate, 20 pound plate, 25. To 45 for the guys is good. But that means nothing. Because you can be a weak dude and a real strong girl and all the math is off. See, I'm getting 16s now. So I was way better on my first lap. A little lightheaded, not a good thing. Down, uh, last length. Get off, get off, get off. Oh. Get that out of here, done. Sweat, recover the breath. Okay, next is the pass it up. We climbed up to base camp one, base camp two, whatever. Now we're passing gear. That's gonna be a low squat row. So I have a 45. Pound kettlebell, you guys get your single dumbbell or wrap the bag to lift. This move is 30 per arm. 
it's the low squat row. So I don't go down, I don't reach to the bell, I need to squat down to the bell. Squatting, got the grip, brace, can't use your arm on your hand, so hand behind back, pull out past the rib. And there's no leg bounce. So guess what, your legs light up. Oh. Those beetles are dying and they're still everywhere. It's ridiculous. Once you grab the bell, butt can't move in height. Woo, getting lightheaded up there. Woo, the oxygen is thinning. Hand can be in front as long as it's not doing anything. Ten, I'm doing ten per arm. Okay, okay. Ten more to go. Water sip. You can stop and take in the view every once in a while. That's fine. I'm trying to get through this just to make a shorter video, but by no means do you have to race through this. Make it a journey. Okay, 10 final, 10 final. Whoa, the surge when you stand up. Nine. Ah, 10, done with that. On to number three. What do we have? Number four, the leopard crawl. So I'm gonna stop the tape just to break the clip up. Okay guys, I'm way down here. These two blue sheets of plywood are eight feet, eight feet. So you got 16 feet of pass if you wanna measure it with a measuring tape. Leopard crawl can just turn into an ugly army crawl. As long as you pretend you're in a crawl space and there's a ceiling above you, you can't get your butt too high. So it's five there and backs. Let's see what we got here. Watch my alternate limb technique here. Alternate, alternate, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Spinning around without hitting the camera. Okay, that was nice. That's one. Let's do it again. You can also leopard crawl backwards if you'd like. Backward, backward. Backward, keep your butt low. Knees are scraping the ground. Oh, whoop, hit the mirror. Oh, two finished. This gets your quads core and your shoulders going. Here we go. Brace. Good. Three. Ooh. I can hear Bruce. He's running around on his leash outside. I was gonna keep check on him. Oh, four. Four small steps. Ah, the quads, the quads. That's four. Small steps is key. You can't overstep a leopard crawl. Here we go. 
Spinaroo. Oh. Woo! Did it. Okay, I'm gonna check on Bruce, pause the camera, and I'm gonna tilt it back up. Okay, we're into the altitude attitude adjustment section, the eight super burpees. It's just like the human makers we did with my added split lunge, split lunge, and a jump squat at the top. So super nasty. Video on the side for sure. You can just do body weight versions or hold light dumbbells. Extended water break after this. Here we go. So you stand. We start with the jump squat, lunge, lunge, and then drop into the regular. Here we go. Down. Push up. Row. Row. Get up. Jump squat. Lunge. Lunge down. Tuck my mic in here a little bit. Oh boy, halfway. Four. Brutal. Brutal. Oh god. Ooh, mount crush more. Mount crush more. Crushing the legs, crushing the lungs. I hate these, I hate these. Oh. You don't have to walk or just sort of jump if you don't want to. You can just do regular squat, lunge, lunge. Oh my God. Water break breather. Taking the view, extended water break. Here we go. Oh, hopefully your lungs have calmed down after that one. Next is our traverse walks. We're doing some lateral, I call them sewing machine pistol lunges. They're just fast, fast, fast. Body weight's on the side, and if you don't have a bench or something high to stand on, it's use one step or two stair, or just a flat ground works. You gotta hold that weighted backpack you have or any weights in your arms. I'm holding a 30 pounder, and it looks like this. Leg is loaded in your squat position. Oh, I'm gonna crush my mic, aren't I? Okay, legs out here, and it's a quick lift without moving the body. Three. Crap. That was three, I'm not doing those again. Johnny, ah. Downhill skiers, that's a great one. So it's a nice symmetric hold on the top leg, fast in and outs on the bottom so the weight doesn't fall. Can I move this up a little bit? Here we go, 20 this side, 50 per leg total. Oh, 
Bench is good because you can sit. Woo! 20 per side. 30 more per side to go. I'm going to do 15 and 15 coming up here. Oh, baby. You like this workout so far? Here we go. Gotta make that leg go in and out quick. Catch your body before gravity does. Five per side done, 15 to go per side. Oh. Oh. Okay. Load. Getting slippery, getting slippery, getting hot. All right, last burst. Oxygen deprivation. So nasal breathing, I'll segue us into that. Gasping this much, you can't do it. Nasal breathing is amazing for the body. If you're a mouth breather, stop mouth breathing. In life, start nasal breathing. If you're ever feeling a little low energy, a nasal breathing session, which we'll do in the future, is a great way to still get exercise and not demand too much of the body and still tax the cardiovascular system. So we're going to do 30 V snaps off the ground with no mouth. Tape your mouth, keep it shut. Only go to the intensity you can handle for nose breathing. I'll reset this camera here. Okay, so start cueing in, watching me here. Start breathing deep in and out through the nose. Shut your mouth. V snap is from the hollow, coming up like so, and back down a little quicker. You can go for V sits with your hands back as well. So. 30 reps starting now, no mouth. That's just a tease. So imagine doing a whole workout that way. Your intensity would have to go way down. But you don't have to hear me shouting, talking, blabbing, 
have you breathe all the time. So that'd be nice. Okay, moving on. We have 25 drop squats, a climb, a tization. So I'm gonna grab my 30 pound ball again. And the drop squat is fall fast, land strong. Ten. That's not as strong as I want to be at the bottom. No, oh, 15 to go. Body weight's fine. Oh, almost there. I can see where two more to go after this. Three more. Shit. Okay. 15 more to go. Oh. Drop down. Step back up. Getting a little sloppy slow there. Recharge for five more. And if you guys at home are doing something easier and you're yawning and watching me do this, you gotta go more reps. Do something else. Five burpees between every exercise, whatever's gotta be. Five, four, three, two, make that good stomp into ground. One. Okay, next you need your single dumbbell. I'm going back to my 30 pounder. Sorry guys, windscreen flew off my mic. This one's called gut check because your gut's literally checked into your quad. It's called the sprinter row. So if you imagine starting a sprint like this, I'll do opposite leg, down low. You hold that position, get your dumbbell next to your foot, freeze, and start rowing. 25 an arm. Switch the leg, get down way on top of that front leg. Stay low. Fifteen, fifteen. Ten more to go aside. Dumbbell right next to the front shoe. Get down. Brace. Ooh. I was harder. Switch. Stomp that foot. Wipe the sweat. Get that foot forward. Brace. Oh. Water break. Breather. Two more things to go. See you back in a sec. All right, guys, I'm on the 20 inch box to get my arms 90 degrees to my bar. You can go to your bar you have at home. You can hang off of rings or video on the side. You gotta do running high knees to your hand above the hip bone, okay? So it's gonna be 100 per side. Goal is to hold yourself up to make yourself lighter and do quick switches. Here we go. Twenty five per side, quarter of the way there. So see how I was frozen in space. I'm not falling up and down. Arms got to hold on. It's almost worse, worse on the arms than the legs. 
Here comes a high heart rate, high heart rate surge. Let's try again. Start one leg, arm, one leg high. Oh, that's halfway. Grip's getting slippery up here. Getting slippery. Oh, halfway, halfway. Woo! Only, only big squats at the summit after this, guys. 15 reps, so let's chug through this. Oh, slippery hands here. Here we go. Ah, that's 75 per side. I have grippies here. I need the grip. Ooh, heart rate's getting up there. We can see the summit, guys. We're at the top. We can see it. Ooh. Getting up. So if you're at your bar at home, I can lock myself nose to bar. So boost yourself up to that height if you can. That's where you want to be to have a true locked out arms. That's it, 100 per side. One more move is the big back squat. So clean up your space. If you got a barbell, we're loading it up. I'm gonna try three sets of five reps at 225. Otherwise, you guys are putting the backpack on. Loading up all the weight you have, and we're gonna do a burnout together. So as safely as you can, as many reps as you can to tip over. And then Mount Crushmore is over. Whoo! Okay, we made it to the summit. I have 15 total reps left with this back squat. You guys can do the same or you're loaded up to whatever lighter weight you have at the house and you're just gonna max out maybe 30 in a row squats, whatever is the end to do a final drop. Here we go, I'm just gonna do five and try to re-rack here. Oh shit. Those legs are tired. That is the heaviest this has ever felt in my life. Oh boy. Wow. Ooh. That's brutal. Brutal. Not good. Not good. That takes it all out of you. We're at the top. Do it as long as it takes. Oh. Bruce is barking. Bruce. <sighs> Hands are so slippery. You guys still squatting? Anyone left? Oh. Ooh. I guess a beginner would know not to go up a double black diamond, so maybe we lost them a long time ago. 
If you're still with us, mod modifying, pat yourself on the back. It's great. Oh. This could just be body weight squats for 100 reps as long as I'm still standing here. Mount Crushmore complete. I think I'm gonna speed things up guys and do a special workout every fifth workout. Cause I have so many of them. And I'm sure you love that. So tell a friend, share it with a friend. I'll see you guys back for four more workouts, regular scheduled programming. <laughs>